I'm requesting Joanne that if I speak and she translates, that's double time. But I have seen this congregation. I think after UPE, everybody here can understand English. But you're going to stay near me because I need someone beautiful around me. Over to the Luzungu, your neighbor will tell you what I'm saying. So I would like to say my name is Lydia Wanyoto Mutende. Like the mayor, the city, Lord Mayor has said, and the youth of Mumbale City, I did a big sister. Because when we were getting the city, Mbale was not on the first phase, on the first list. And the youth went into the streets aside fighting and rioting. And the police went for them with tear gas. Then they called me to give them money to buy Manila and fight back the police with tear gas. I said, no, get off the streets. You don't get a city by fighting police. You fight police, you are fighting government. But they didn't know what to call me, so they said, okay, big sister. And that's how big sister began. Because I came back to Bali, organized about 200 youth, put them in the buses with a written petition, justifying why they wanted the city in the first phase. Because they had been given the first five cities, the city mayor knows, and this time we had only one city, of course, I will be dumped. So it began with the ginger. So when we rioted, then other cities joined in the first phase, and Nepal was one of them. So um, that is how I became big sister. I want peace in Nepal, orderliness as a contributor of the community. I've come here to pay special tribute to Tabisa, because I knew her at a personal level. Uh, Sanyuka, you have a name that actually describes your character. I didn't know that today I would find you in your usual joking mood, because losing a spouse is not a cup of tea. It's a very tough experience, even when they have been sick for a while. There is that issue about death that you cannot understand. And uh, maybe you don't know, but I'm a widow, so I know the feeling of being losing a spouse. I lost my husband. I cannot say we feel the same because it's different and nobody can tell you. So I'm very encouraged and strengthened by the strength you have today and uh, giving comfort to all the mourners, but also keeping your character, which is which really resonates with your name. Because Valas Valis and Yoka is really about people being happy. And so protocol goes to all your children and to the Mbale City community, the Lord Mayor protocol goes to you and other political leaders who are here. The state clerk, thank you for taking off your time to come and join the family here. The staff, the technical people of Mbale City, especially industrial division, thank you for coming to stand with the family. Um, thank you for that. I knew, of course, I was telling Fred, Fred Gekwaso, is now working in Palisa. But also Peter knows. Peter spoke here earlier. I was saying, Fred, that how are you? I know you. He was shocked. He was saying, how can you know me? But I want to tell you all, technical staff, whether you were DC or now a cow or a town clerk or chief, chief accountant or commercial officer or the one of the environment, that the NRM government values your work. We may not be coming to your pieces to sign for us vouchers because we are not supposed to come there. We also do not come to see what's happening every day to your pieces. But I want to tell you from the bottom of your heart and my heart that we value your work. At least I do. Um, the last two elections, 
the NRM was not doing very well, especially in the urban areas. This is, this is the, the first crop of the disease. I had one who was speaking from Teso. You used to do a lot of work for the NRM government in 96. You mobilize and do everything. But these dot com ones, <laughs> the new ones in the last uh, 10 years, they ask difficult questions. <laughs> and they don't want to vote the NRM government properly. I think they want to properly. So what we did was to evaluate elections and we realized that many technical people, those who sit in offices, either they, they campaign us or they do not go to vote at all. They go and stay on their WhatsApp or TV and ask who has won or who is now in the lead. So we have, be we have begun appreciating that you are a big stakeholder in the governance of our country. But also most important, all the money, the quarterly releases of our country, you are the signatories. So if you don't like government, the roads will not be made, water will not be there, and then we will have a clash of lack of service delivery. So I've come here to pay tribute to Tabitha, but also to use this opportunity to let all of you know that we value your work and your contribution to the government or to the service delivery of our country. Thank you so much. Um, I've already paid my tributes and to the children. I, I have a legal, I'm a lawyer by profession, so I'm happy to hear that there's a family member with whom we share a profession. I think lawyers, we try to be humble, but everybody thinks we are arrogant. We are very nice people. We love all of you and we serve you well. So, um, but particularly, I'm very happy to have the church here, religious leaders, and especially Reverend Alice, who also normally holds this microphone. The testimony given here today is very important for all of us to take away home the strength and the value of a home and a marriage. So I want to thank the children for giving a powerful testimony about their daddy, Mr. Joseph Balisanyuka. It makes a lot of our work easy. Because while Tabisa was also a staff of an institution, there are many, 38% of Uganda's population, they hardly touch any shilling from morning to evening. They are really one So when we began recently the parish development model, we wanted to bridge the gap so that other nationals can join the money economy. At least those who are able, that you cannot just be poor. Somebody said yeah, if you have problems, have poverty of two people in the house. It's not me who said it was somebody who said it here. Yeah. One of the DCs. I'm getting the titles right. But what I have learned, my Alice, because you are our religious leader here and others, where I was in Igulu and Kabale, and this week I've been here at Mimbale, the women who have begun getting some money, because I'm a leader of the women, the men will have their own someone one day. And my Alice is very good at the someone's about family. But many women who have just gotten the money, and they, they have been stressed for many years, because of the challenges they have with asking for these fees, uh, going to hospital. So now that they're getting money, they are saying, aha, now I've spoken this in Logis, but I've gotten some money. Now my husband will see me. I want to stand here, not only as a leader, but as a widow, to request if you're a lady here, because all of you here, I know you are workers and you have some level of education to pass a message to our sisters there that no money no amount of money ever replaces a husband it's not there no money replaces a spouse because it affects children it affects a home it affects such a situation so i've been talking to ladies all over to say please 
Use the money to strengthen the family, like Tabitha did. Use the money to contribute to fees, to contribute to medical, to contribute to the home, to contribute to your husband coming back, back home early, less stress that you begin asking questions from that gate. So that is my message because we want to bring money to the community, to the women, but I should not be the problem that is now going to be a problem in homes about even me now I have money, so what are you saying? You put a curfew in the home. How can you close the How can you close the house at the eight that your husband does not come? My friend, open the door. Open that door. So so that you can have a negotiating space when he's already in the house. Give him his dinner. Do your part. And then God or others will sort him the other way. So I really want to plead. Those that I'm talking to you, you're not the audience I address, but help me to pass this message. That when you get money, you've sold charcoal, you've sold this, do not ever imagine that money replaces the spouse, that money gives you power to cause the curfew in the home, or to even keep a stick behind in the bedroom. you begin beating him. So that should not happen. Let's have peace. Let's enjoy family. This is really family. But there are many people here whom you have touched with your children. And people's homes can never be the same again because of today's testimony. We need to bring up family and people see the love of parents so that it can be transmitted to your family. Finally, I know that many of you knew that this week we've been giving out mosquitoes, nets, 